I gotta practice fast drills with the coach gun. Because I'm funny like that. So starting with two rounds in my hand, empty gun. So I'm testing to go through eight rounds. Alright. On a beat. Beep! your heart out. Okay, let's try that again. I've got the rounds staged. I'm about a little bit better. Got the rounds sticking about a third the way up out of the leather loop. All right. On a beat. I grabbed out of sequence, basically. I grabbed, I should have grabbed the left two most shells, and I grabbed second and third shell, so for the last go round, I had to fumble with it. But, now that's not as fast as, it's not as fast as using the pump, but, depending on the round limitations, you can only have four rounds in the shotgun, might, might actually be somewhat close to keeping up. We'll see. Although, ever if you can load six or eight rounds in a shotgun, three gun with the with the coach gun, not gonna win, but it'll be fun. Try it again with my other shell carrier, similar, but it's a little bit different. A little bit different loops. Let's see if it makes any difference. All right, all right, on the beat. Oh. Tighter. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. Okay. This uh, this shot shell holder is a little bit tighter. I don't know if the loops are a little bit longer or what, or just tighter leather. But we won't use that as a primary then, even though it's a nicer looking shell carrier. All right, coach gun for three gun, baby, just because the 870 is too easy. So I figured that you guys might be interested in seeing these shell carriers up close. The first one that I used is the newer of the two. Um, they're both made by Triple K. Uh, this is the one I was able to order this out of Cabela's. Um, I don't know if I could find this other style, but we'll look at that in a second. So these shell loops, about inch and a half, um, pretty consistent the other the other style. But the shells seem to come out of these just the hair easier. I don't know if it's just because of the condition of the leather as new, or if they're just actually a little bit looser. But this works okay. Um, I think that the belt attachment method, just, just these two leather straps, is a little bit weaker, but it works. So this other one I actually got from a very, very nice gentleman when I was at a cowboy action match. My first one this year, I didn't have anything to carry shot shells in, and he gave this to me. He said he had a whole bunch of them, and I could go ahead and keep it. Uh, Miss Stamp Triple K, it says 735C-12. And the stitching on the inside is very similar to the the pattern, um, but this is one big piece of leather folded over, whereas this is a piece of leather with two straps on it. So this seems more robust. 
I was having a harder time getting the shells out of this carrier. Um, I think that's basically because of the loops. The inside uh, is fairly dry, whereas the inside of these um, is a little bit more of whatever they have for a treatment or a sealer on the leather. But what I've been doing for a cowboy action is you, you push the shells up so that they're like this. That way you can get a hold of them better. Because all you have to do is grab onto two shells, pull them out, and then drop them right into the gun. But doing it for three gun, we'll see if it works any better or worse. So what I was using at my last three gun match to load shot shells was just, uh, I think it's just a canteen pouch or something that was on a vest that I bought. Just throw a bunch of shells in there. I took the, the top of it, folded it back over, and just held it. Just put it on the front of my belt. Just in the front of my, of my mag carrier. I can pop shells into the, into the 12 gauge. Actually, no, this is on the right side, but it's in front of my holster, rather. So, I'm wearing these in front of my pistol mags. Just because I'm loading with the left hand with these in the coach gun, holding with my right hand for the 870. Okay, so I figured I would show you guys the coach gun I'm talking about up close. But first, a break from our sponsors. Ah, refreshing. Okay, so my coach gun is a Stoger coach gun. And it says so. Right there, if it'll focus. It's regular side by side. Um, it has 20 inch barrels. One side is improved, one side is open. It has double triggers, which I like. It has a hard plastic. The butt pad because you know a rubber thing would sh soak up recoil and that would just be no fun at all. So, this is a little beauty that I'm going to try shooting a three gun with basically just for fun. Um, we'll see how it does. One benefit of being a dork and filming all this stuff is I was able to go back and look at a video of other matches and be able to time myself and compare shotgun reload times versus hits and all that kind of stuff and it looked like with this gun today I was digging about 18, 19 seconds to shoot 8 rounds um, thinking somewhat similar to that with the 870. If I had four loaded, then shot, loaded four more, and then kept going. But you know, this little guy has treated me very well. Um, I've had it about two years and haven't had any issues with, with it at all. I uh, got it used for like 250. I think new they're only 350 or four. So if you happen to come across Stoker Coach Gun, uh, definitely pick one up. They're fun. Um, the wood to metal fit. The wood's a little bit proud, which doesn't bother me at all. And it just has the, the safety on the back automatically goes on safe when the action closes. So you flick her off and let her buck. And there are no extractors on this model because I got this primarily for shooting cowboy action. And you can't really, I don't think you have any injectors for that. Just because many people didn't have them back in the day. So there's no ejectors. That's why I do the whole uh, inertia ejection method. But no, this, uh, this shotgun has been a lot of fun. So, three gun with a, with a double. Just to be that guy. Alright. Get vids up as soon as I can and get back from the match. Take it easy.